So Karl Rove mustered up this incredibly stupid argument in favor of NSA spying. Like this program, which we now know was accessed 300 times last year, then you've got to be against local law enforcement being able to access routinely uh, business records of the telephone company and their local investigations as well. You cannot turn on a cop drama on television where there's not somebody who's pinging somebody's cell phone or taking a look at the phone calls made from some, uh, you know, some, some uh, landline uh, or telephone booth to help solve some crime on television. It it's a TV show, Carl. It's not our actual justice system. I don't know if you know this. But uh, Chuck Norris, he didn't really fight a room full of 30 people. Steven Seagal didn't really break that guy's arm in that movie that you like so much from the early 90s. Uh, you know, Charlie's Angels? They're not real angels, dude. Oh, that's such a bad argument. It's just, that's embarrassing. I don't understand how he's not embarrassed by that. They always get things wrong about technical legalities in show in shows, and... In all shows, it's not just like legal shows where they get stuff wrong. For example, I'm a golfer, and whether you watch Happy Gilmore or you watch The Greatest Game Ever Played, or, you know, that's the one with Shia LaBeouf, or um, what was the one with Will Smith? Legend of Bagger Vance and Matt Damon. They'll, always, they'll say some things that you just, as a golfer, you're like, people don't say that. Like, they'll be like, oh, he hit the ball in the hole. That's not the, the, the phrase you would use. Uh, if you're a golfer. So there's, and you know, rounders is another example for poker. Anybody who's an actual poker player watches that movie and goes, yeah, yeah, you're not allowed to do some of the things they did in the movie, but because they don't know the details of it. Just like in Law and Order, they don't know the details of the actual legal system. And I love when he makes up numbers at the beginning too. Uh, we learned that 300 uh, times was the only amount that this program was used. Really, Carl? Does that include the spying on sex phone calls that happened in 2008 that was widely reported? Oh, no, 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 it doesn't include that, right? Uh, or the tracking of Elliot Spitzer because he threatened the rich and the powerful? No, not that either. Or tracking the Associated Press? Or what we discussed on Friday, the CBS reporter? Or how about the thousands of times, according to the companies themselves, that the government was making requests? Each company, separately, thousands of times, whether it's Google or Apple or what have you. And what about PRISM, that uh, NSA program, or Blarney, which I know sounds like a really weird sex act, but in reality, it's supposedly the mothership that tracks everything. But no, uh, he picks some ridiculously no low number and says, don't worry, it's okay, it's okay. And then his dumbest point of all, let's not forget this, I don't want to gloss over this. If you're against this, you're against law enforcement. So, if you're against this program, you have to be against all law enforcement? Like, what, do you want to abolish the police department? Is that what it is? Oh, No, no, that's clearly not the case. I, for example, am against these unconstitutional, illegal programs. But I am in favor of law enforcement. I just need them, if they want to do a search of something, or someone, or their information, to do this little thing known as get a warrant. It's only the most American thing you could ever do.